What? What? What is it, Mr. Elbow? Oh. Nothing. Ah, oh, boy. Just a dream. Regina. It's the only civilization in all of Earth, and it's the only place we don't want to see any closer. Let's face it, Mr. Elbow, we're lost. I don't think Friesen intended for us to come this way. He didn't mean for a lot of things to happen, Dan, but they did. For example, changing the actors for the second Lord of the Schools. What? Never mind. Hey Dan, uh, uh, what kind of food do we have left? Let's see, uh, calf food. More calf food. They say this stuff has magical powers. I believe it. Who knows what they put in it? <laughs> Mr. Rubble? It's the pen, isn't it? Oh, it's getting heavier. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mr. Alvo, I was only trying to help you. I don't have to throw a hissy fit. If it wasn't me, Dad, I'm not alone. What is it? What is it you smell? Who did it? Did what? Who cut the cheese? Oh. 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 Well, it wasn't me. It doesn't smell like an orc. It smells like a human. Rygorn! They picked up our trail. Let's move! This is quickened. We must have caught our scent. Hurry! Kimley, you gotta stop that! Come on! We're gaining on them! Three days and nights pursuit with all that food and gas. What the heck? What do they expect from me? Not idly do the lenses of Jibin fall. They may yet still be alive. Except, they won't be able to see anything. Come on, let's go. Chuckles, my name's Devilus. Never mind. Smell that? Come on, like seriously, come on, what? 
No, that's not Kimley. That's Orkville. There's something strange at work here. Something evil is helping these creatures. It sets its will against us. Well, they turn east and they're taking the Stovillians to Saskatoon. Sorry, man. The world is changing. Now has his power to stand against Saskatoon and Regina. To stand against the mighty of Shartu and Sarna and the union of the two doors. The town is ruined, my lord. It's been ambushed by civilization. We do not defend ourselves. Sorry, man, we'll take it by force. That is a lie! Sorry, man, has always been our friend, our ally. <sighs> Manufacturers are freely across our land, unchecked, unchallenged, putting up new developments at will. Why'd you lay these troubles on an already troubled mind? Can you not see your uncle is worried by Primitiveness! Your farmlands! Farmlands? <laughs> How long has it been since Saruman bought you? What was the promised price below? You see much, Dragon there? Too much! You are banished forthwith now from the kingdom of Moose Jaw. We're not going any farther until we've had a breather. What'd you guys eat anyways? Get a fire going. Vinny! 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 Oh, uh, Jippin. I think we made a mistake leaving the stove. What's making that noise? The trees. What? I didn't think there was any trees in the flatlands. Do you remember the old stories? Only in remote areas of Saskatchewan, people used to say there was something in the water. The trees in those areas, they had a romantic atmosphere. You could lean on them, sit under them, even kiss under them. Let's go. Talking, Vinny! The tree is talking! Tree? I am no ordinary tree. I am the kissing tree. Alright. Don't talk to it, Vinny! Don't encourage it! Who are you? We're Stovillians. Maybe you are, and maybe you aren't. The Bad Chaplain. Sorry, man.
so bright, so beautiful. What did you say? Master should be resting. What are you looking at? You mustn't ask, not his business. Tell me! Die right there. Reason told me about you. You weren't so different from a Stovillian where once were you? You used to get good marks. You used to get straight A's, didn't you? Now I know why. Chad! What did you call me? That was your name once, wasn't it? My name? <laughs> Chad. I thought they were dead. Dead? No, you cannot kill them. They're calling for the process. They must be in desperate need. Students are getting better grades. We must hurry. Very close now, very close now. To Regina! Drivers of Moose Jaw! Business does an alpha man and a dwarf have in Moose Jaw? Speak quickly! Well, there's not too much else around here. We just thought it was Flatland. No one makes fun of Moose Jaw. Just because it's flat doesn't mean it's not good. Enough! I'm Rygorn, son of Billigorn. This is Kimley, son of Jimley, and Stevelis from Oregon. We are friends of Moose Jaw, and of Theo de Jong, your king. Theo de Jong no longer recognizes his friend from foe. Saruman has poisoned the mind of the king, and he is marching his army through these lands, putting up more and more buildings. Indeed, he is a sorry man. We're tracking a band of orcs westward across the plains. We've taken two of our friends captive. Plus, they smell really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible fate. You've seen our friends? You'll no longer have to smell the filth of the orcs. We slaughtered them in the night. Were there two Stolvillians with them? We left none alive. I am sorry. Look for your friends. And one more thing. Most of our rules. Farewell. They may have escaped into the forest. Let us trust to hope. White chaplain, he approaches. Do not let him speak. He'll give us bad theology. You are tracking the footsteps of two young Stophilians. They passed this way the day before yesterday. They met someone they did not expect. Does this comfort you? 
Who are you? Show yourself! It cannot be. You fell through hell. Freezing. That's what they used to call me, Freezing the Grey. That was my name. Freezing! I'm Freezing White. And I've come back to you at the turn of the school year. The Black Gates of Virginia! Lord Sands. That's it then. I'm not asking you to come with me, Dan. I know, Mr. Elba. Now! No, you mustn't go that way. There's another way. Why haven't you spoken to this before? Master did not ask. He's up to something, I know it. <coughs> He's led us this far, Dan. He's been true to his word. Mr. Elvo, no. Lead the way, Chad. Good Chad always helps. Hour in which this Christian has come. Be silent! His book! I told you to take the Christian's Bible! Too long have you sat in the shadows. I release you from this spell. You have no power here, freezing the gray. I will draw you, sorry man. This poison is drawn from a wound. If I go, then there it is dies. You do not kill me, you will not kill him! Moostra is mine! I do not think so. Breathe the free air again, my friend. Bring him his glasses. I think he'd remember his own strength if he had his glasses. Feodijan, my old friend. Hail Feodijan, king. Feodijan? Man, that's a hard name to say. Man, this is really getting annoying. Sorry, man is marching all his forces through your lands. 
putting up more and more buildings. Soon this once simple town will be a busting enterprise of corruption. This is but a taste of the terror that he will unleash. You must fight. You have 2,000 good men driving north as we speak. Gregor is loyal to you. He will return and fight for his king. They will be miles away by now. Gregor cannot help us. I know what you want of me. I don't know. Maybe a little civilization is what this place needs. You don't know what you're talking about. This place is the only land I've seen in all the places I've been that isn't in development. We must keep it that way. When last I looked, Theodorjong, not Ryagorn, was king of Musha. Then what's the king's decision? By order of the king, the city must empty. We make for the refuge of Swift Current. He's only doing what he thinks is right. Swift Current has saved him in the past. There's no way out of that town. He's walking into a trap. I must go and get help. Moose Jaw will need you before the end, right? The defenses have to hold. They will hold. Don't get too far ahead. Why do you do that? Do what? Why do you make fun of them? Because that's what he is, Mr. Elbow. He failed all his classes. There's no brains in there. It's the penny wants. It's all he cares about. Well, uh, what do you know about it? Nothing! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. I don't know why I said that. I do. It's the pen. I've seen you. Don't think I haven't noticed. You're failing all your papers, pulling all-nighters. It's taking hold of you. You have to fight it. I know what I have to do, Dan. It's my test. It's my own. Who are you? No one crosses these lands but me and my men. We're innocent travelers. We're bound in secrecy. We set up from faculty of city with seven companions, one lost in the well, two were my kid, a dwarf was also there, and an elf, and two men, Ryan Gordon, son of Bill Gordon, and Zilke of Briarchrist. You were a friend of Zilke's? Yes, why? <laughs> he was my brother. This city was once a place of light, and beauty, and music, and more importantly, hockey! No! Let all the opposing cities know this. Never again will I let this team fall into enemy hands. We will play, and we will play hard. Let me ask you a question. Is it in you? My answer to this question is simple. Just do it. Ducks fly together! The gloves are coming off! Before the whistle blows, this team will be reclaimed. For Briarcrest! For Briarcrest! For Briarcrest! Nice speech. Just like in the movies. 
leaves more time for drinking. Drinking? Coca-Cola, of course. Break out the caffeine. Cheers. Remember today, little brother. For today, the Clippers are good. What is it? He's here. <laughs> One after game party, can he not give us that? Where is he? Where's my star player? Coach! They say you beat the other team single-handedly. They exaggerate. The win belongs to Wiggy also. If not for Wiggy, the city would still be left standing. Was he not entrusted to it also? Coach, they were way better than us. Always you lay a horrible hoax on me. It's not my intent. You give him no credit, but he tries his best to play. He loves you, father. Don't trouble me with Wiggy. We have more urgent things to speak of. Hmm? Dr. Magnus has called a meeting at Faculty City. He won't say why, but I guess his purpose. Reimer's bean has been found. The one pen. All will try and claim it. Teachers, students. Sharpton will come again to attack, and when he does, we'll be powerless to stop him. All of our people will fail. This thing must come to Briarcrest. Here at last I have you, in the pen of power in my grasp. Naga! <laughs> Don't you get it? We're going to Regina to destroy it. The pen must come to Briarcrest. How many strong? 10,000. 10,000? Is an army bred for a single purpose? To destroy Saskatchewan. Let them come! Look! Sorry man's army. The war has started! Maybe we should go home. I mean, what can we do in the end? We've got Stouffville. The industry and development of Saskatoon was spread out of Saskatchewan, all over Upper Earth. And all that was once natural and simple will be gone. There won't be a Stouffville chip. The power of the enemy is growing. The eye of Sharpton will soon turn to Briarcrest. The last Bible college in Saskatchewan. He'll try to crush this place.
The strength of the pen bearer is fading. The quest will claim his life. Do we leave Upper Earth to its fate? Do we, the faculty, let them stand alone? The men are saying it won't last the night. We won't, we won't ever pass the test again. We're all doomed for F's the rest of our lives. It's all hopeless. What's your favorite subject? It's kind of silly, but I'm into movies, that kind of thing. That is a very good thing to be into. There was always hope. What was the point of that? existed between teachers and students. We are here to honor See, like that alliance. Thank you.
Kimberly! Go! The pet will not save breakfast. It only has the power to fail. You have to let me go. The Penrites, take cover. Oh. Ah. Styles are taken. It is over. Buildings will go up. Flat country land will be turned into huge corporations. Every student everywhere will fail every single test and paper they write. This is to be our end. I will have my men make such an end as to be worthy of remembrance. But what can we do? Write. Write the tests and papers anyways. Just to show them we can? To give it our best. Show them the marks do not have a hold on us. Yes. The roosters of this farmland will grow. One last time! Yes! Let this be the hour when we write a test together. Foul deeds have been done. Now for land. Now for Marx. And the good lord. <laughs> The king stands alone. Not alone. But Joe's place! Gregor. To the king! To the king!
battle for Swift Current is over. The battle for Upper Earth is about to begin. All our hopes now lie with two little civilians somewhere in the plains. So I guess this is where we're supposed to have a really cheesy end of the movie moment, huh? What? Well, you know, like, where we talk about how great each other are. Dan Wise the Brave and such. Nah. Terrorist. Terrorist. Master. Master has the pin. Terrorist. If you take it, you kill them. Kill them both. Then Riz is the precious. And we really get your ground! Yes! 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 Kill them both! <laughs> Shit! Oi, Hoffman, where are you? Come on, Star Villains! Long way to go, let's Come follow me! To be continued.